Okay. Um, lightning's always a little weird. Hmm? Oh, for coloring? Oh, yeah. I know you always do it in like a blue and yellow kind of color. Yeah. Jamie, how's it going? Faster than the fucking... <laughs> She's always like instantly here. She's the ultimate, like, first poster. She's oh, first. Yeah. That's it. That's uh, Bro, I was born first. Born first. I fucking love it. So good at what she does. Mm-hmm. That's true. How have you been? She says, I was like, oh, let me check the stream. And I saw y'all had just started. Nice. We try to be prompt enough. Once in a while, you know. All right. Like I just instantly turns it off, so now the other camera's in total darkness. That's how it goes, man. Oh, damn. You all right? I had like something that itched over and now it's bleeding. Oh, well, don't get the blood on the picture, man. Watch out. I won't know where. Or if it needs to go somewhere that's red, then you can get it there. Mm. <laughs> You're browsing uh, what's on sale on the Switch. All right. Nice. Probably some good stuff on sale. I don't I'm, know though. I'm personally uh, waiting for World Ends with you too. Actually, yeah, going down. Any a band aid or something? What are you uh, for? Just a wet napkin or uh, maybe dry ones. You slice your leg too? I guess. What the fuck? That's a lot of blood. I'm just gonna hold that there. Yes. We're doing it live, chat! Alright. I'm gonna soldier on. I guess I'll turn this back up. That's all good. I mean, I'm gonna turn it back on here in a sec. Oh, there we go. I, I just said I was gonna turn it Well, see, you say a second, I don't know, you know. That's what I just said. It's gonna be kind of. A, this is gonna be one of those ones. That, this part of it's gonna be a bit of a pain because. Oh, okay, then. Because I just need to kind of like go back and forth just a smidge every once in a while. Oh, well then fucking I'm just going to leave it like this. And it'll be dark. It's better that it's dark than like blinding. Yeah. But now it's like flashing, which is annoying. Seven. Just leave it like this. You want a band-aid? Yeah, actually, it'd be good. Matt's bleeding out on stream, everyone. Like you know, like you do. Happens to everyone. <laughs> Happens to most men. Official HEB first aid kit. HEB, if you're out there, give us free shit. <laughs> Damn, though, to be sponsored by HEB, that'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> hey, man, that's free food, probably. Yeah, that's, that's fun. What, that's what matters. That's groceries. That's actual groceries. I don't know if I have any disinfectant things. Though. Ah, that's fine. I don't need that. Sure. Yeah, I don't. I got Robitussin. Don't worry. Oh, he's got the Robitussin chat. Robitussin. No, this stream is also not sponsored by Robitussin. Robitussin. The ad you got was the strangest thing. So well, that works. Like Matt randomly just sliced his leg open on something. So I don't know if we're allowed to show that. My leg, that is. No, we shouldn't. Not not the blood is not a big deal. It's the, yeah. The leg is what's uh, yeah no. really problematic here. Uh, I am not going to hand this to you. Okay. Good I'm going to set it here, and we're going to deal with it later. Because I'm not watching the top blood. Mostly your blood. The AIDS blood, that is. Sure. <laughs> he gave me AIDS! <laughs> right? I love that South Park episode. These lovers. So funny. Yeah, hey Ash. It feels it feels like we just it feels like we were just hanging out. Yeah, it's weird. But it also feels so long ago. 
Like it was like a, a distant memory or, or something. Like a far off dream that's like yeah. a scattered memory. Yeah, or... like a chain of memories or something. Something. You know? Far off memory, that's like a scattered dream. It was a long time and a lot of meat ago. <laughs> it was a lot of meat. Boy. <laughs> Boy, it was a lot of meat. That hot pot place was so good. I don't know, we gotta keep it vague. Oh, I mean, that meat place was so good. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look. That establishment that vended in sorted, assorted meats. They loved the sweaty balls. What did you miss for the last six minutes? Um, we were talking about how we went to an establishment that sold assorted uh, meats, and Matt sliced his leg open on something. How it goes sometimes. Also, how's it going, Ender? All right, well. Finishing up some commissions from Delta H. Yeah. Luckily, they got moved to be uh, shipping shipping them out. Yes. I don't think I could have handled that many. No, especially after eating all the assorted meats. Yes. Which uh, there's still one left to do for a Wednesday stream. Yes. Which makes me, makes me wonder if we should be upping the prices of commissions again. You're right, you did get a lot. Uh, my, I think my rule should be anytime I get double digit number of commissions at a con, that's when... Uh, <laughs> that's just, that's it. That's, that's it. Uh, that's the only rule. That's it. That's, that's when I need to uh, consider upping the price. Because, mm. Lord. Lord. <laughs> Give me the strength of Samson. Yeah, right. To beat that ass. No, it's to beat yo ass. Oh, yo ass. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Yeah, I think you got what? Nine, right? Yep, just nine. Yeah. Just nine. <laughs> Is that, that's counting, that's counting ashes as just one, right? Or no? I don't remember. Hold on. Let me, so ash. I don't have the book. I, I, I you have the book. Let's I have the book. Let us consult Speaking this. of woes, yeah, and was talking about his woes cosplay. No, that does suck that your driver broke. Oh damn, really? That sucks. Yeah, we're good. He says he can fix it though. Oh, that's good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I'm missing one. Nah, no way. It's eight including ashes uh, being two. Oh, so that wasn't too bad, but it was annoying. It's, it's not annoying. It's just a lot. That was a lot. I thought I thought it was nine for sure though. Oh, so eight, almost nine. Almost nine. I do still remember that one A fest when you had like what was it like fifteen or something yeah. stupid. Yeah. So, they were all smaller, but they were still like you know fifteen of them. Yeah, all horrendously underpriced. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like fifteen. Actually, just like fifteen. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, we used to do like smaller ones and like a lot of other weird stuff. I used to do a lot of dirty things. Yeah. For low, low prices. Yeah, I used to do, uh, you know, dirty deeds at discount prices. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Ender says he. Uh, they can barely take three commissions. Yeah. 
Yeah, he should he should be doing something like similar to that maybe, but I don't know. No, he, he could easily get through five. I feel like five for a weekend would be no problem. Yeah. It's once once you start getting to like like I said, precariously close to ten. Yeah. That can start getting a little much. Yeah. But yeah, it's weird though too to think it about. It also depends on like how much sometimes you're just like, Yeah, I could finish this at night and then like you can't and I'll, I'll bet if you had like at least penciled it during the day, maybe you'd gotta jump on it. Yeah, it's weird though too, because I use I'm also thinking about myself as I used to be. Mm. I'm not as young as I used to be, chat. I'm an old I'm an old fogey now. Also I used to do them faster because they weren't as good. But you know, <laughs> fuck you, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, you know what I mean. I know, I'm messing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes longer to make them better, so Well, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I don't know. Look, it's not happening. Me and Ellen aren't friends. That's fair. <laughs> Before the dark gap happened. Dark gap. We've been calling oh. it the void <laughs> here. <laughs> that or we were saying there was a time skip. We've gone to the new world now. Yeah. We were saying there was a time skip, or we've just been calling it the void year. The blip. That's from uh, Marvel. Oh, is it? Yeah. That oh, was, okay. That was when. That's what they called it when everyone was like Thanos and then oh, came that's back. What, oh, that's what they called the snap. Oh, okay. And when everyone comes back after the snap. Gotcha. Okay. Because the. Uh, what was it? The people who came back um, didn't, like, it was almost as if nothing had happened, so they didn't age or anything. Gotcha. That makes sense. I guess. Makes sense enough. Mm hmm. I mean, it is magic or whatever. Funky space magic. singing that fucking Dryah insert song like all weekend personally. Really? What brought that one on? I don't know. I just something happened and then I just started singing that one. You know the like sword one? Yeah, yeah. For when they go like kill people? Yeah, I don't know. I just started singing it. Like it was in my head like all weekend. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, let's see. Jamie says, yeah, it was just to bring them all back in the present moment. No time travel, no weird age ups, just exactly as they were. Okay. Which is actually pretty good considering. It's good enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like what they could have done. You don't have to explain anything. Yeah. They just pop back in. Yeah, exactly. Just poop. Done. Doing a lot on this, just real quick. Yeah, I might as well get it all out of the way. And then, yeah, we'll get back to this guy. Because, um, he's, um... He's got a lot of, like, color stuff you have to do to make sure that the lighting is right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because all the lighting is coming from, like, the electricity. Mm-hmm. And his weird glowy eyes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I do this. No. 
did something at least. Makes it really cool. says I gotta go clean up my disaster of a room post Delta H so that I can work on the uh, anime Houston cosplays. Nice. I got a. Uh, we got some stuff. I got some stuff from uh, Delta H as well that I need to kind of like figure out a way to incorporate into my actual room. Mm -hmm. so, just a sec. All right, we'll be streaming for a while. We got another one after this. We're gonna do so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll catch you if you come back. What is this, Jamie? Is this an Android for your uh, Chinese pretty boy show? Yeah, I almost bought an Android this weekend. I was thinking about getting that one from Yuru Cam. Yeah, the Rin Chien? Yeah, man, but it's kind of expensive. Yeah, it's like 90 bucks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was 90 bucks, so I was like, eh. Oh, you feel that, yeah. Right. Which Android do you plan on getting, Ender? I'm actually interested to see what uh, FloridaCon has to offer because we've never really been to a FloridaCon before. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie says, I'm definitely eyeing this series of an Androids uh, between this and the other figures I've ordered. I've paid my fandom dues mm -hmm. towards supporting the series. <laughs> Your fandom dues. My fandom dues. The idea that there's like a guild you have to pay dues to. Mm -hmm. This is the other one you ordered? Oh, this one looks nice. This is very fancy. Oh, that does look really good. Holy this shit, that's awesome. Statue. That looks really cool. I need to see about getting that. Lena Inverse one. There was a Lena Inverse and a Naga one that either came out or were about to come out, but I don't remember when they did or not. I'll go look those up real quick. Store or whatever. It might not be on the US store yet. Obviously. Possibility, yeah. They might also just not be out yet. Also, yeah. Let's see. When is that supposed to come out? No, this was out a while ago. Okay, so this is just old. That's why it's not on the store. I'll have to find this at a con or something. Yeah, again, I'm just excited for going... I bet this is probably annoying as shit to get, just because they never make merch for this series. Yeah, you know what's funny is that um, mm -hmm. uh, Delta H, we had uh, some of our artist buddies coming up and talking to us about how we need, how we could do some, we could get get away with some old school uh, merch. Uh, oh, really? Like for prints and stuff like that. I think you, you were there for that. Oh, I think I was. Um, but... Yeah, I probably could, but... Yeah, uh, I know we're more interested in original stuff normally. Yeah, for sure. I was just like, I laughed to myself. I was like, oh yeah, I should definitely do just a Slayer's print. <laughs> Dude, Slayer's is dope. I know. It's just funny to think about like some of these things. You're just like, yeah, that's that seems so far fetched. The idea of like, yeah, doing such niche things. Yeah. If I'm gonna do like, something niche, I just do original. To be honest with you, but like, it's still funny to me. Let's see. Jamie says, since it comes out after her lease is up, she has a note on her phone to uh, change her address. Oh, you're getting a, you're gonna move uh, apartments. Damn, yeah, I want this. How hard is this to get? I'm going to fucking eBay chat. I'm going to eBay chat. <laughs> How fucking expensive is this? 
Good luck. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, it says. Oh, yeah, I missed my ship day. Hold on, let's see. Oh, no, okay, I might be able to get this kind of cheap. Well, not too cheap. This is weird. It goes from, like, it's got a lot, a pretty wide range of prices, so. Oh, I want the bonus parts. Yeah, this thing's not cheap, Chad. And I don't know if I, I don't know if I should trust any of these cheap ones that are like only a hundred bucks, because I know there are fake ones of these from China mm -hmm. on eBay sometimes. Well, that's what happens when you forget about stuff. Tell me about it. I knew this not going to come out. Probably same here. This one was from 2019. Okay, so this one's not so bad. So this I could probably find at a con if I look around. Mm -hmm. Remember, chat, Nandroids are the weed Funko Pops. They're superior. <laughs> They're superior in all ways. The Virgin Funko Pop versus the Chad Nendoroid. <laughs> Posable. Yeah. Multiple faces. Yeah. Multiple hair. Doesn't have a stupid look. <laughs> Has an actual expression. <laughs> it's not soulless. Yeah. I do not look into the void every time I see it. It's not as... Yeah. Oh, Jamie says she's not moving anytime soon, but the figure doesn't come out until, like, next year sometime. Gotcha. Yeah, Jamie says she likes them more, but they're pricier, and they're definitely cuter. I would agree with all of those things. Mm -hmm. And they're pricier because they're cuter and superior. All of it, true. Yeah. It's true, all of it. Yeah, this one's gonna be a very frustrating stream for Wes. I can feel just because I have to constantly go back and forth because of the lighting on this thing. It's very annoying. Apologies to Wes and Wes alone. Everyone else, get fucked. It's very annoying. <laughs> what? Who's, who's getting a figure soon? I'm on the website right now. Let's see. Oh shit, there's gonna be another Ryuko one? Was there one already? I can't remember. Oh, this is her in the like her like first outfit when she shows up. Oh, nice! That's really cool. Just eating a lemon casually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this one. Fucking, I still can't get over the fact that just some random person came by the booth, saw I was using Copics, and just was like, oh, ew, you're using Copics? Yeah, that is so weird. I was like, I... Uh, like, what? Yes? I, what, are, what you, you said that, and I was like, what are they like? You should be using Crayola markers or something? What yeah. the fuck? Like, a true artist uses only the finest Crayolas. <laughs> Like another part of me was like, wait, did they were they cyber guilty at any some random point? I don't really know. That was so weird. That just threw me off, man. I just didn't know what to do. I was like, I also have touch markers. Uh, I don't know. It's just so shot. Yeah, what a weird thing to say. Yeah, I was like, wait, why am I being canceled for this? Like, now? Is this a troll? What is this? Oh shit, is this NMI from fucking uh, Hellgirl? Dude, Hellgirl's gonna get one. Oh, and it has a little plaque for the part on the website where you put the person's name in. Nice. That is cool as fuck. 
Oh, this is the website where you can send someone to hell. I don't know if anyone in chat's ever seen this anime. But then it, but then your soul goes to hell when you die. It's fine. There's plenty of people I would be like, oh yeah, I'm down. It's whatever, man. Oh, you can get her on the little boat, dude. Is that a pre-order exclusive to get that little boat? <laughs> That makes it worth it, legitimately. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Ender says, imagine using markers, laughs and broke. <laughs>, laughs and broke. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay, Jamie says she is aware of this, but she doesn't know if she saw it or, or not, or if she saw all of it or whatever. I just, I only saw the first season. There's, I believe there's three seasons of it. But I only ever saw the first one. I love this on her little boat. Yeah, I guess maybe it just I was flexing too hard in the artist tally, I guess. That's true. By owning said markers. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Nadia one? Yo, that's cool. Let's come with a little line. Yes. The line with uh, the giant balls? Yes, one and the same. Does the line have his giant balls? It does not look like it. That is a fucking tragedy. <laughs> Why does this line not have his giant balls? <laughs> Oh, dude, can you get the jewel to glow? Oh, oh that's, that's so cool. cool. Holy shit. Yeah, it lights up, dude. The little jewel lights up. Oh, that is sick. That totally makes it worth the money. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, that feels a little better. Okay. Oh, you have to find this light for it, apparently. That's sold separately. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that sucks. But it, it there's some light that fits in it, it says. Oh, shit. Ralph's here. What up? What up? It's been so long. <laughs> yes, today is Matt flexing after uh, Delta H. Ah. Turn the light back on. I don't know if I would say it's flexing as much as it is uh, showing off my hubris. Yeah. He's working with markers that aren't Crayola. I know. Actually, we should do some challenge like that. I see ones where artists do challenges like that. What? That are really funny. Or they'll do like pictures like that where it's like the, uh, you know, X dollar product versus X dollar product. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll do, like, the same picture, but in different markers and stuff. That'd be kind of funny to see you do something like that with the, oh, yeah. one of these pictures. I would laugh, mainly just because I'd be, like, kind of okay with it, like, or something. Yeah. Like, hey, you know this didn't turn out too bad with these crayons. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Crazy art markers. You need to use the... Um, the Crayola scented markers, specifically. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that, that would be what we would use. Kind of dark. Come on. Sorry, he's an no, edgy no, dude. No, no, no. It's, it's just from it sliding around. He's yes. an edgy dude. Of course he's dark. Yeah, if too much of the light pad gets uncovered, like the rest of it comes really dark. There it goes. I just have to readjust the uh, focus. <laughs> Oh, dude, Raihan's gonna get one from Pokemon. Oh, damn, that's hilarious. Yeah, that, the, the trainer guy? Yeah. Yes, dude, this Fight Club Mako. Nice. I need this in my life. I need this and the actual Ichiban Kuji Fight Club Mako figure. I want them, like, side by side. Was that figure still only $200? I hope. <laughs> Only two hundred. I hope, dude. It was. I think it was the last chance prize. Oh, that. that's right. Yeah. I think it was. <laughs> like, I remember that randomly. Oh, 
that is so beautiful. <laughs> you can get these insane, look at these like overflowing tears. Oh, that's hilarious. That shoot, yeah. Like out of the figure. That's great. Oh man, that's hilarious. I was going to say, I feel like this is like a reissue or something. Yeah, because I remember really that. Low. Yeah, because the number is really low. Let's yeah, I see. remember that character. Or that figure. Because I remember the, the, the Yeah, because this was... But it's not shop will open. It's probably like a reissue. These event sales. Yeah, maybe they're just like re... I wonder why it's mentioned here then, if I can't buy it. I thought these were like upcoming figures. Maybe I didn't have them sorted right. Maybe. Yeah, that's kind of weird. What is this then? Because a lot of them were really high numbers, so I thought they were all sorted. Products announced. Products announced for May. Yeah, it is because it says products announced. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm not sure. Is this like they're doing a reprint of it or something? Or they did? I don't know. That's a little weird. Nice, we got this weird Kajinka version. Oh, what? Oh, of this character? Uh, actually, technically, the, they did it of Black Waltz 2, but yes. Oh, okay. That's funny. Well, no, that was 1. 1 is that one. 2 is the one. Okay, yeah, no, I remember now. Ignore me. Gotcha. You will officially be ignored. Appreciate. Chat, ignore him. Thanks, y'all. You can get, um, it looks like there's like a new Nadeshka one, and it comes with like a bush, and they have that scene reenacted from season two, which <laughs> yeah. is like hiding in yeah. the text. Yeah, that's really funny. Once again, the superior figures, clearly. 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 Is it raining again? Possibly. Sounds like it. It's been like doing that off and on all day. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. It's so humid. Oh, no, I don't want that. I just want the light to fix itself. There we go. Yeah, I think it said it might rain when we're in Tampa. Uh, in, in Tampa or here in Dallas? I checked it for Tampa. Okay. Well, hopefully we get inside before it rains too hard. Yeah, as long as we're inside. I can't remember. We're, like, down the street, right? We have to walk to the convention center? Uh, I'd have to check. I don't know that offhand. Yeah, I can't remember. I know at the other Tampa Con, Ellen and Sabrina are, like, a little bit away at a B&B, but... Right. I know we're, like, really close to the con. Yeah, I haven't been to Florida in forever, so. Should be fun. Yeah, hopefully. Mm -hmm. It will be really fun staying inside one building the whole time and not going anywhere. That's true. <laughs> I mean, we might go out for some food, but that's about, you know. That's true. I like the stream says, hopefully we'll uh, meet Florida man. That's what we're hoping for. That's all I've ever wanted. We're hoping he makes a guest appearance. 
All I've ever wanted was to see Florida Man. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should have gone with a different tune. I should have gone with that. All I wanted to was see you turn into Florida Man. Turn into Florida Man. Florida Man. The Florida Man transformation sequence. Yeah, dude. You know it'd be lit. <laughs> right? No shit. Like some magic gator bites him and then starts transforming. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. The it's idea. like Kiva. Yeah. Bro, it's like Kiva. Yeah. <laughs> like, this like gator thing bites him. <laughs> then he transforms. Now I want a fucking gator theme writer. <laughs> well, I knew we had that with... Um, oh, was, yeah. No, for, also from Build, the crocodile guy. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I guess, yeah, I guess he is Florida Man. <laughs> yeah. He's the closest we've got to Florida Man. He's the man. closest to Florida Man. <laughs> Without going over. Yeah, yeah, Rogue. That's what his name was. I totally forgot his name. Yeah. That's really funny. Then I was like thinking about it. It's like, oh shit, damn, I want this. Purple. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why I also was thrown off too. It's like purple crocodile. Yeah, purple crocodile. Come on. Purple crocodile alligator. A drive the Chevrolet movie theater. Exactly. See. Oh, dude, you can get a part one Dio that, like, comes with a little stone mask. Nice. And it even has, like, a separate head that you can have float. <laughs> nice. <laughs> with the little blood tentacles. Yeah. That's awesome. It'd be really cool to have some of these. I think they only have ones that are from the anime right mm -hmm. now. I don't think they have any one, like... Dude, like a gappy one would be sick. Yeah. The gyro one. That would be awesome. That would be hot, yeah. <laughs> Your friends want you to do mostly every common Rider villain turned good guy, and you don't know how you feel about that. You feel I, I mean, Rogue, you can wear all those stupid shirts, though. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's that's a good one. That's nothing but up. I don't yeah, that's a good one. That's nothing but plus right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who dares enter? Tis I. Oh. What up? The boy is awake. Uh-oh. Why it. is he awake? Fetch his, he... fetch his kitty chloroform. <laughs> fetch his kitty chloroform. <laughs> be, be a deer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fetch his kitty chloroform. Holy shit, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Incoming whining is what you're saying. Also, the washer is open. Okay, I'll go throw my clothes. I'll do it after stream. So. Thank you. Say hi to Jamie before you leave. Hi, Jamie. There you go. Okay. <laughs> See you in a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fetch his kitty chloroform. Well, Nigel, don't just stand there. Fetch the kitty chloroform. Right. Don't just stand there looking like a buffoon. Mm-hmm. One of this coloring. I know. I just wanted to say that. Oh uh, yeah. Or rude, but you know, just kind of dumb thing to say. Yeah. I noticed. I noticed. Yeah. I noticed. Uh huh. You don't say. Oh really? Yeah. 
What a shock. Not even close to remotely shocked. Look how shocked I look. Yeah. You'll notice that so it doesn't look shocked. You'll notice that I don't look shocked at all. Yeah. It's because I'm not shocked. Uh huh. The levels of shocked I feel are low, if Very not zero. Low. Very low. <laughs> Okay, why are we doing this? I don't know, because it's stupid. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's probably why. Oof. Seems like 90 was a pretty decent deal on that Rin. No, really, Dan. Yeah. It's like slightly lower than eBay and no shipping, so. That's true. So no, that's not bad. The no shipping thing is always what gets me. Yeah. Like for con some of the con prices that I Plus, see. Plus, like, stuff like that, I really don't want to get shipped because it could just get smashed in shipping. Yeah. Like, just my box. Like, when it's there, when I have it, it's all my fault and I can feel guilty the rest of my life. Yeah. Instead of just being really angry that I spent this much on shipping and, yeah. and it got smashed. By people whose job it was to, to not have it get destroyed. Yeah. Jamie says her internet is super laggy and she lost she lost us when we said who's there and only just came back. Yeah, we were one, I just heard the door opening and it was Ellen. And then she did say hi, Jamie, so we, yeah. you can catch it in the VOD. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. All right, already this this clearly proves Nandroids are superior. Done. Which is it? There's the Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> Your move, Funko Pops. Your move, Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah. Christ. I don't know if there is one for Funko Pops, but there's no way it's as good as this. <laughs> you can change the faces and shit. It's... You can't give it the even creepier old faces, but it has like some, some of the, the faces. That's fucking hilarious. Now we just need the fat conductor. <laughs> If I can get the fat conductor as an android figure, I would fucking love it. Oh my god. Okay. Checkmate atheists. Yeah. I love that. The first time I heard that when I was watching like the British version, it's like, and the fat conductor was cross. I'm like, dude, did they just say that? He twas really cross. <laughs> like it's true, but damn, you don't gotta cut him deep in the it's how British know, people in the are, narrator. Man. Hey man, that's how British people are, man. They wanna let you know that being fat is not okay. Right. Oh yeah, this Venom one is really cool too. Yeah, it comes with like a ton of extra stuff for it. Yeah. That's the one you want to get? Oh, parents. Oh, speaking of uh, being weird and mm -hmm. all that. So apparently, there's someone um, going okay. around calling libraries, okay, and having you, um, all right, read off the description of uh, was it Brady versus Maryland, while he ma masturbates. What? Yeah. What? Ellen was telling me about that. That can't be real. What? Uh, I mean, that feels real. That's true, though. That definitely feels. That's someone who works in the library. It feels very real. Oh god, what case is that even? Uh, it's the one that makes it so that um, all um, evidence has to be uh, laid out in the open. Gotcha. Um, you can't um, withheld evidence. Okay. I guess I have an evidence fetish, chat. Alright. We live in a sick world. It's true. Very true. I don't even know if you should put that in the fuckability in the modern era. It just doesn't make any damn That's sense. That's just pure degeneracy. Honestly. Honestly. 
Jamie says, I mean, we did get the foot person a while ago, so it's not like a huge leap. That foot person was hilarious because um, we <laughs> didn't you guys just start fucking with them? No, we wanted to. Oh, but they that's right. but they knew better to, than to call Harrington. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, they're like, well, because everyone at Harrington would be like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Wh which 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 foot though? Just start trolling them. Yeah. Yeah. Which foot? And they're like, I would have been like, I lost my feet in nail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's what you do. You do. You start asking on which foot, and then then if he start responds, that's you say, I, I sorry, I lost that one. Yeah. Uh, lost that one in Korea. And then they're like, well, what about the other one? Lost that one in nail. <laughs> yeah. Right. I lost that one to gout. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually diabetic. I lost my foot. Mm-hmm. It was just like Soul Food, if you've seen the movie. You ever seen the movie Soul Food? Mm-hmm. It cool. was just like that. And you know, just like Big Mama, I kept eating that food that killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, like, breakdown of that movie in the boondocks. Yeah. And then they keep eating the food that killed her. <laughs> like, think that just cracked me up. <laughs> oh, dude, the Samtaro one. Nice. If Mine. I had this, I'd put a floppy disk next to it. <laughs> that episode when they, yeah. had to, when they had to get the floppy to the dad. The floppy. Floppy disks, man, they used to be the things that... Bro, save or destroy the world with <laughs> a single floppy disk. I at least appreciated Gargoyles because you needed three floppies to destroy the world. Did you? Okay, okay. You needed at least three, which I I was thought was good. You know, that's funny. I was like, well, at least you know they're a bit more realistic. <laughs> hey man, I think the other programmers were just more efficient. <laughs> Probably done. <laughs> Damn. GG. <laughs> Checkmate atheist. Right. Don't match wits with you know someone like me. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt I felt like that statement fell a little flat there, but go for it. Yeah. Exactly. I'm luring you into a false sense of security. Oh, I see. Yeah. A very false sense of security. Just like putting a Brinks uh, poster outside of your house will do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good deck. Yeah, right. That's a good one, yeah. See, then they just know that you have shit worth stealing. Yeah. Because you were thinking about protecting it. I remember somebody came to our uh, house once and was saying, like, oh, we're here to, to promote cyber uh, security. He's like, oh, no, I'm good, man. And he's like, what do you mean? Like, well, I already got a little security thing on there. Well, what, you don't have, like, a cam? But do you have a camera on your door? He's like, no. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would anyone? And he's like, well, what did they give you? And I was like, oh, I mean, I got that sign there. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's like, wait, that's it? Is that all they gave you? Well, no, they gave me other things too, but I mean, like, you know, I got the sign. <laughs> yeah, I got the sign. Calvin says, this is the energy I channel with my Final Fantasy fourteen character. Nice. How's it going, man? How have you been? Staying well, I hope. All right. <laughs> Jamie says, literally, liar game one reasoning. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that one. Oh, you don't know Liar Game? I know of it, but I don't know, like... Ah, uh, it's such a good manga. The stuff through it. I just know it exists. It's pretty good manga. Uh, it's one of those ones, though... I, I have a, yeah. It's a hard one. It's one I also sometimes have a hard time recommending, only because of the fact that it just kind of... Um, it's a more of an abrupt ending. Gotcha. Uh, but, I mean, it has a cool, like, premise to it. Mm -hmm. And the games that they play are really fun to watch. Because you're always like, kind of like, all right, how are they gonna, you know, get out of this this time, basically? Mm, okay. Or, or what is the trick behind the game, basically? There's always a trick. Because mm. the the main girl is always like trying to make sure that everyone wins the game. Okay. And um, she says specifically, liar game game one. There we go. Ninja Dance Mat, how's it going? <laughs> Ninja Dance Mat, damn, it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's funny though. When I was Calvin, say, I don't. Uh, Calvin uh, brought up uh, this is the energy he's playing for Final. I don't recognize you. This is our Instagram. Check us out. We do a lot of cool stuff. What you were saying? Yeah, I'm gonna look at his uh, black mage real quick. 
Yeah, it was funny though because with Calvin, I was thinking of the of oh, Austin, nice. uh, uh, of, of, of Lee uh, mm-hmm. from oh, Anime LA. He was like, "Bro, when I get my ley lines down, yeah, don't fuck with me when I get my ley lines." I get my ley lines. <laughs> don't fuck with me when I'm in my ley lines, bro. I fucking love that. That shit fucking killed me. You fuck with him while he's in his ley lines. You are banned from his brothels, straight up. Yeah, that's it. That fucking shit can be too. It. That's straight up. You're never going to that weird Final Fantasy role playing brothel that's again. Not a fucking. You're thing. done. That's so fucking funny. To <laughs> that, that's just something you can do casually. Like, yeah, just casually. It's like casual. Oh yeah, man. I run this brothel. Yeah, I just I just run this weird you know role playing brothel. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I was like, oh, I'm I'm not. I'm a bit more concerned than worried. Yeah. This is fucking like what? It's the number one broth salesman on that server. <laughs> yeah, number one. Yeah, I think we made that joke too, didn't we? Calvin says ley lines are a way of life. <laughs> yeah, because he had like a, a pin that he had fa- had bought that just said. Yeah, he had all these Final Fantasy pins on him. Yeah, that were like all about the ley lines. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> Let's see. Jamie says uh, she's talking to me on the in the first round slash game. This guy was acting paranoid and refused to leave his home, which is how the pro tags his opponents in the game knew he was hiding the game money at home and not a separate location, like he had said. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I get what you're saying now. Yeah, it's been a while since I've read that one too. Oh, speaking of people that are coming by the house bothering us, someone came by, like, to install solar panels, and Devin kept trying to tell them to, like, you know, that he wasn't the homeowner. He's like, I'm not the homeowner. No, no, we don't want this. I'm not the homeowner. And they're like, oh, yeah, so I'm going to just I'm gonna just look around. I'm going to go check the meter, and I'm going to do, like, a thing and set up a thing. He's like, I'm not the homeowner. No. Like, that, they wouldn't stop. And then the next day, it was, like, 9 a.m. some dude came here. And he was like, yeah, there was an appointment set up for solar panel or whatever. And I was like, my man, (laughs) like, no, whoever told you this, we told them we don't want it. And like, they just kept, they just set this up without telling us. That's what I told them. I was like, I was like, no, there wasn't an appointment set up. Whoever was here yesterday just did it without, just did it. You know, and he was like, oh, all right. And he just laughed. <laughs> it was really funny. It was so stupid. I was like, why am I getting, you know, why, why is someone waking me up at nine in the morning for some dumb shit like this? What the fuck? Oh. Man? Ninja Dance Matt says, I love how quickly you're moving with the art. I'm super impatient with stuff. It's always inspiring to see it's still possible to do cool stuff without taking ages over everything. Yeah, it does take a little while to get to this kind of, uh, um, what is it, speed? Um, There was some very uh, aggressive soliciting. Oh, by the way, there's two of us here. So my name is Wes. His name is Matt. He's the artist. (laughs) <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I probably should. Love yeah, it. Uh, I read chat and other stuff and uh, run the production. Uh, yeah, it does take a little bit of time to get to the like uh, um, level of speed, but yeah, it's definitely um, uh, it's definitely been very convenient uh, considering we do so many of these goddamn commissions. Right. But yeah, Matt is the drawer, and uh, I am the wordist. There we go. Thank you, Calvin. Yeah, Jamie, no, you're right. I was I was very lenient on this guy. Cause like I didn't I didn't get to the door in time when the person was bothering Devin. And we thought they were gonna come back because they were like, I'm gonna go check the meter and something something. And I was like, if this fucking it was some lady, and I was like, if she comes back, we're gonna go off on her. But then she never came back. So we thought like she would just everything was done. You know, mm-hmm. and then that's why I was like shocked when it was like nine in the morning and someone was knocking on the door. It's like what? Mm-hmm. Like, you need a fire whoever's doing this, or something, or promote them. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I guess maybe promote them. I don't know because they're not taking no for an answer. You know. Yeah. They're getting real maniacal. That's the best way to do door door to door business. You know. They're getting real maniacal with the customer. They're definitely getting maniacal with the customer. For real. Chad must be their manager, like, for sure. <laughs> God. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she was there talking with Devin, and Devin was trying to get her to go away and tell her, like, we're not setting anything up. And then she's like, all right, I'm just going to go look at the look at the meter. And then she she walked off, and that was it. Like, we thought she was going to be like, come and try to sell us on something after that. Like, you know, you're getting 0.1 gilowatts per dollar loss of something, you know, or some bullshit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Thought she was going to come and try to sell us some shit. And so we were going to tell her to fuck off. But no, she just went and set us up with some stupid fucking appointment. I mean, they can't. What was it? That's like that brain, that brain meme. Can't they can't tell you no if you never actually ask them? Yeah, right. But yeah, that guy came and I was like, he was like, "There's supposed to be an appointment for something." I was like, "No, no, there isn't." Whoever was here yesterday, we specifically told them multiple times. None of us are the homeowner, and we didn't want anything. And he was like, "Oh, uh, sorry," and then that was it. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking hilarious. I was, I was so, I was like, no, no, there isn't. <laughs> no, you stop this right now. I was like, no. You stop this tomfoolery. God. That's really funny. Yeah, Jamie, you're right. Though. She says, she says, that's how they sort of do it, though. They act so audaciously, they catch you off guard and you just don't know how to respond. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's, uh... A lot of people are actually, um, what's the word? Definitely, yeah. They're looking for the one person that accepted. That's what Ninja says. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because they would have been like, because, you know, you could get someone who's like, well, they came out here, I guess I'll listen to them. No. No. That's not me. No. No. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, you don't do that. No, you don't. That'd be golden wind on their ass. <laughs> Did you just hear that piano start playing, bro? <laughs> like, you better step the fuck off this porch. <laughs> that's, that's, what's gonna, that's what's gonna fucking happen. Holy shit, that's fucking funny. Yeah, just imagine. In the back, it's like, choo, choo. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> next time you start going off on someone, I'm just gonna, like, play this song yeah, in the start back. Start playing that behind me? Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah, no, that fucking view. <laughs> great. Yeah, that ain't fucking happening. Uh, no, we're no. fucking done here. God, though, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie says, I don't ever want to be that person to like normal customer service people, but solicitors like that, I have no empathy for. It. Yeah. They went ape shit. She says, I went ape shit on a bitch who called during the winter storm in February. Yeah, definitely. Wait, what were they trying to get? Like, were they trying to, like, make you buy? They're trying to, are you having power outages? Switch to, <laughs> our, switch to our service. Something like that, I'll bet. I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, capitalism. At least that would make sense. It's probably something even stupider. Honestly, though, that's... Like, I know we jokingly say capitalism, uh, oh, I jokingly say capitalism is evil, and usually it's not actually that evil, but that's just fucking evil. Yeah. They're probably calling, like, having problems with your heating service? You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, honestly, if someone called God. while we had no power during the entire blizzard thing yeah, uh, and said that to me, I would probably fucking have lost it. I might have actually just gone full. Oh, wow. She says it was, quote, Gupta Pharmacy about her account with them. One, not my pharmacy. Two, this pharmacy doesn't fucking exist. Oh, yeah. One, okay, so it was just a straight up scam. Nice. Yeah, that's just fucking, oh, yeah, I would have fucking gone off. All right, got one down. Okay, that's one down. So I think we two more to go, um, but we're only going to do one more. Uh, the third one I'm going to do on Wednesday's stream. Yeah. Because that one's actually going to take a little longer because that's an 11 mm -hmm. by 17 commission and has three characters on it. It's Death the Crew. Mm hmm. Jamie says, uh, I said we're in a winter storm where people are without power and dying, and you're calling trying to fucking scam people. Think about your life choices, yeah. among other things. I mean, there's someone overseas, so. But yeah, no, I, I would not have been happy either, especially in your predicament. Mm -hmm. Like, you have no, like, yeah, you have no reason to have any empathy for them. No. Like, that's, that's not what I'm thinking. Like, all right, we'll all right, over there. So we'll still dry all the way. Alright, this one at least I can heat the light on for a little longer. Because it doesn't have any uh, ridiculous, um... What do we call it? Um, lighting things. Yeah. Change this real quick. 
I'm old chat. Okay. Right. I just realized I forgot to. What did you forget? Oh, I have my um, thing in the, like the. So my Digimon should be asleep right now. Oh, he's still on. Yeah. Uh, I had the one piece level. Where did it go? Oh, I gotta let him kill this dude first. There it is. And then I need to fix this real quick. But yeah, while you get that turned over, but we're gonna watch my Digimon battle. This she is said how... she was in Texas and they were suffering too and had to work anyway. Oh wow. Okay, then yeah. I just thought they were some Indian scammer or something. Yeah, from the way you made it sound like. It's a little racist of me to presume that from the name, but I mean, there's a lot of Indian scammers. I've re I've watched several videos of people that are specifically <laughs> flipping the script on Indian scammers. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Jamie says I didn't believe her. Yeah, I figured, but. Let's close it on this here. Ah, the accent too. Yeah. Hmm. Calvin says he still needs to get one of those Digifit bits. Yeah, I, the uh, other Calvin we know has one. Yeah, he's already got all of the other dim cards that go with it, except for the ones that haven't come out yet. Um, yeah, he always goes hard on whatever he gets. Oh, I know. He's he so, goes like so in on whatever he's in, oh, into. It's crazy. Yeah, I like. It's like kind of weird because I like, like. How do I put this? Like, I almost like admire, like how into the things he gets in because i always yeah. like whenever i'm like oh i'm into something calvin comes in like yeah that's cute yeah that you think you're into this but like he, he also wants a different digimon though yeah so. i'm i'm gonna probably get the um um other ones um once this one digivolves to the the one i'm wanting to get from this uh the 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 you know og dim card because if you get the app you actually get two digimon uh, oh really yeah but they're both the they're both the same. But they're you know, uh, you get basically a backup Digimon in case one of them fails. Gotcha. Okay. It's like a free backup. In case it fails. Well, because it can die. Oh, 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 wait! If your Digimon dies, you just have a Fitbit. Well, I mean, you can get another egg after oh, okay. that. It's just that like. Uh, I was like, damn, they just lock you out of this? That's a hardcore mode. Kinda. It, it's like if you get a specific Digimon, the only thing you can mm -hmm. do. Like after you beat, um, after you get the the perfect form, if it's not the one you want, you have to wait to let it die, oh. so that it becomes a new egg. Or you can do what I did and put it onto my phone app because uh, I I can't uh, I can't possibly kill my buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm just thinking you should just like reset it with a paperclip or something. You can do that too, but oh okay, okay. but like you lose all like the stats and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I just meant like if it was that bad of a thing happening. Yeah, again, it's just more of like a, like, did you get what you want sort of thing. Gotcha. What's that about my rubber nose? <laughs> right. Yo, Ninja Dance Mat, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Right? I can't believe this guy stayed this relevant I this know, long. I love it. I love that's like the best part about One Piece is that like everyone can stay relevant. Yeah. And anyone can become relevant at a moment's notice. Yeah. <laughs> right. Alright, have a good night, Kelvin. Which reminds me, though, I do. Pl I want to try to go running tomorrow. I need this Joseph Joestar name for too. Comes with the clacker balls. And you can add the Caesar headband. Nice. Does he have a thing where he's crying? Yeah, duh. Oh, this is an well, no, there's no tears. It looks like, but, but he is making the crying. Yeah. He's making like the pose, like ah, oh, like screaming. Mm. Caesar. Yeah. 
Oh, dude. If you did the um, the shop bonus, you got, like, the Bane mask. Oh, nice. And then you can have a base that has, like, uh, the Heart of Asia on it. That's really cool. They Jamie even did it in chat. She's she's off. Nice. <laughs> My final Hamon. You were pretty sad too. Mm -hmm. No, I, I definitely wasn't sad. Bro, your cigarettes upside down. I know, right? Oh. I still can't believe part eight's gonna end next month too. That's so weird. I feel it really needed like two more chapters in the main part, in my opinion. Yeah. That's all. I just... It, and it's only, like, the last four pages that I don't like, even. I think... Something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, right at the end, I think it was, like... I don't know if maybe, like, Araki just, you know, like I said, ap like, we were talking about, like, after Miura's death, he was like, man, I should really end this. You know? Yeah. I'm not sure. Let's see. Jamie said, I did a which One Piece character are you quiz and got buggy. Honestly, so accurate. <laughs> with like very little I know of him thanks to the handful of anime slash movies I've seen. It's very accurate. Yeah, I would agree. I would, yeah, no, no, that's true. No, that's 100% accurate. Holy yeah. shit, that's hilarious. Oh, dang. Ninja says, watching you do this traditional is low key inspiring me. No, it's high key inspiring you now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> um, well, I appreciate but, that. Yeah. Yeah, he says no control Z. Yeah, right. Well, the closest thing is some whiteout. Pretty yeah. much. I remember one time. There was one time you tried to control Z. Yeah, you had yeah. your hand out and you yeah. you did like a thing. You were yeah. like, oh shit, I just tried to control Z in real life. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah, but I mostly prefer working traditionally anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, I do need to get uh, when I go get art supply stuff. I guess from Azels. Just see if they have any more uh, brush pen inks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamie says, Hi, fucking praise y'all. Thank you. To be a fucking clown failing upwards is my goal in life. <laughs> That's funny. That's fucking great. Oh, man. What kind of pen is this? Ninja's wondering. Oh, it's a Pentel uh, brush pen. I also use. Um, uh, what are these things? Kuretake brush pens, uh, the, because the ink on them doesn't uh, bleed uh, too much with Copics or any other alcohol-based markers. Uh, they they kind of play nice with watercolor. Um, I usually try to switch up inks if ever that comes up, though, because um, certain inks you work with they like uh, different color mediums, like mm -hmm. these uh, inks and gouaches I have. They 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 prefer specific inks, um, whereas with Copics, they and alcohol-based markers, they want specific uh, ink so it doesn't bleed nearly as much. Makes sense. But yeah, these, this pencil one is really good about being um, kind of an all-rounder, where it doesn't mind too much about um, whether or not if it's a uh, uh, you know ink or a uh, alcohol-based marker. Which were my, but this what these particular ones they run out of ink really fast, and so that's why I'm like always like arr, arr, I need more ink, and the ink is so annoying to find at stores randomly. Oh, they don't man. have any Kingdom Kuni. No, they don't. Huh? Yeah, they, Jamie just mentioned that like there's some art stores in Austin to check out if we go there whenever we go there next. Yeah, definitely. I don't know when we're in Austin next. Uh, Anytime this year, maybe if we're in the other Iki Shaw. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, there's that, yeah. But... Um, that's what he used to do. What did I used to do? Uh, ink over the pencil and then like rub it out when he didn't have the light. Yeah, I didn't like it because um, you'd also, there's like three reasons why I didn't like that. One, you'd smear the ink. Two, uh, your ink would be go from black to gray um, and three there were so many times where I actually like would tear up the paper especially if you're using a watercolor paper uh, that it would actually just make it so that you couldn't uh, do coloring very well on top of it it actually would make it a lot worse it's, is it this one that you have what's up I'm trying to figure out how large this one is 
No, this is this one's twelve by eight work surface. There's a there's a larger one than this that you have. Oh, um, my light table. Yeah. So, I, have, I know the I read the brand, but I don't know the size. I'm trying to send like a link for it. Gotcha. I don't know. It's one. It's kind of like this. This is the first one that like popped up on Amazon, but it's. Oh, this one has different. Oh, this is like a portable one or something. What is this? This has a stand that comes with it. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it's this brand. I'll just send you. This is a link to like a similar one. This is like a similar one. You can find like whatever size you need and whatever fits your budget. Uh, let's see, hold on. Oh, Jamie says she can keep an eye out for stuff for you if you send her uh, like a message. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, oh, and she's saying the graphite might like uh, mess with your uh, nib pen or the bristles and stuff. Yeah, that and um, it also smears as you're going across it too. Yeah, it's just all around. It's just better for for my in my personal opinion. It's just better to do it on a separate sheet. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of like forty dollar ones. I just this was the first one that came up. Because that one has that extra, like, table thing or something, I think. Yeah, ours isn't that fancy. But, yeah, if you just look for that brand, that Huon brand or whatever, you should be able to find one that will, like, kind of fit the size of the budget you're looking for, I think. <laughs> to be a clown that's failing. A upwards. clown continually failing upwards, yeah. God, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, this brand, like I said, this brand has like a uh, several sizes and price ranges and stuff. I was worried they were just gonna be like some cheap Chinese piece of garbage, but it works really well. Yeah, ordering things online is really weird for me, just because I'm in that I was in that weird uh, age group where. Ordering online constantly got you broken shit. Mm hmm Like, I remember I had gotten um, a Zoid. Yeah, no problem, dude. I remember I gotten a Zoid back in the day, and it was just missing pieces. <laughs> like, yeah, right. It was, like, legit just, like, missing all, most of the parts to it. And I was mm -hmm. like, this is miserable. Why would anyone want to order this online? Right. A ninja, where are you at, if you don't uh, mind me asking? We're in Texas. You don't have to answer, of course. Uh, if you don't want to. Ireland! Oh, wow. Okay. I think this is uh, the farthest away we had someone was Germany. So this is definitely the second farthest. Because even... we have someone who was over in... Um, what? Uh, some... They were in London, I think, right? Also? Yeah. What happened to that guy? I wonder if he's okay right now. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, actually, what even time is it? In yeah, what time is it there right now? Yeah, because it's like, uh, fuck, what is it? Like, what? Uh, it's uh, gotta be about nine ish something here, right? It's it's nine. I don't know. Do you, do you do military time or do you do uh, regular time? Because it's nine t nine twenty here. It's three fifteen there. So it's three fifteen in the morning. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're enjoying us uh, up so late or early, you know, like Jamie said. So, yeah, nice to have you join us. It's funny, though, when he said, um, he said he was from Ireland, that made me think of that joke about how, like, um, him finding out we're from Texas was just probably like, that's weird. Where are their accents? <laughs> you know, like, that, like that, like that old like joking like thing that people like always kind of like. Because uh, I remember um, this one story of uh, from my uh, brother. He has a buddy who's a flight attendant, mm -hmm. uh, and so he ends up getting a lot of like you know. Oh yeah, this uh, one yeah. Um, cross country like kind of stuff, and he ended up in Japan uh, for a bit and had to stay overnight. So he's at a bar, 
and they're like all like you know excited to talk to them because of the fact they want to practice their English mm-hmm. and um, he, he's like they, they ask him oh where are you from uh, and he's like oh I'm from Texas and they're like oh Texas oh cowboy Texas yeah cowboy. and then he's like ah oh, jeez and they're like oh but like well, where where in Texas and he's like Houston Houston oh, NASA Space, space cowboy! <laughs> and this is like, God fucking damn it. That's funny. You have a self in, you're in a self inflicted night shift? Interesting. You never had a big sister, though. Maybe that's been the problem? I'm not sure what that was the problem to. I don't, did we mention? I don't know. That could be a problem. I've never had a big sister either. I have two younger sisters. Yeah, I'm the oldest. We're both of... insane. Uh, both, uh, I'm the, the oldest, uh, my, my siblings are not insane though. They're actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, my <laughs> siblings are just actually insane. So. Sometimes they'll just say something I'm just like, all right, whatever, not going to touch that one. What was it like that fucking uh, with Jacob? Oh my god! I, yeah, I never forget Jacob. He's just like, what did he? Say? He goes, he goes. It's like parents are just raising their kids to be gay, and I was just, nope, not taking that bait. Nope, mm-hmm. nope, mm-hmm. pass that one on. Nope. Eight out of eight, great bait, mate. Yep. <laughs> Older sister vibes increasing. <laughs> Jamie over here. <laughs> I can't remember. Jamie has siblings, but I don't remember if she's the oldest or not. I can't. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. There's so many. Like, I know a lot of people, and like everyone like starts talking about how, like, oh yeah, I have, a, I have a sibling. I'm like, whoa, I did. I just for some reason assumed you just you know existed within a plane, and that was yeah, it. Yeah, you're just you. That's it. That was it. There was only you. Yeah, there's. She says, I'm the eldest of my mom's kids, but the middle of the dad's. Okay. <laughs> no, he's not dying. Have you ever seen... This is from One Piece. Uh, so this guy has a power where he can, like, split himself apart. Yeah, it's uh, called the Chop Chop Fruit. Yeah. It's a very silly power and it's like yeah it's like what bara bara in japanese yeah and bara bara can also mean like dismemberment like if it's bar it's like bara bara sausage or something like that for like a that means like a dismemberment murder or something mm-hmm. so like yeah bara bara is like an onomatopoeia for chopping or something i think yeah a lot of the powers are uh, onomatopoeia yeah they're usually some sort of play on words yeah, because they love puns over there. Yeah, and they use onomatopoeias a lot more than us. I think um, the one for being hungry is like that. It's like peka peka or something, I think. Mm. All I know is that meshi meshi is food. Or pika pika means dazzling. Like something mm. like that, usually. Mm. Like sparkling. <laughs> so funny, because of... Uh... What is that's our Pikachu's name. Yeah, yeah. It just makes me think of the people who are like, Pikachu means Satan. <laughs> yeah, right? No, a master is one who controls demons. Yeah. That's my favorite one from that yeah. priest. Oh, man. A master is one who controls demons. They want your kids to be a Pokemon master. Like that. Oh, my God. <sighs> I kind of miss those days. I feel like those days were a little bit simpler. <laughs> If Buggy was beefy, would he be a Barra Barra Barra? <laughs> Absolutely. The yes. other version of the Barra Barra fruit. He was just jacked. Or he could be a flower man, because Barra is also sometimes translated. Well, it is a rose. It's, a rose. So it's used for that, because it's from like an old magazine or some sort of yeah. thing. That's why it's used to refer to like buff, usually gay dudes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people actually don't Cause like it. Yeah, because it's kind of like calling someone a pansy or something, I believe. Or, or um, it's like a translation like that. Yeah, it could be like that. There's another. There's other more um, visceral. Tra- yeah. Visceral, I don't think it's the right word, but you get the point. Yeah.
<laughs> Bar Bar is just Armstrong from FMA. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so that makes Ninja me says, yeah, those words are fun. Yeah, they are really fun. Something about them. Because we don't really do that much. No, we Not don't. In English, no. No, we don't really have much of like, like... Especially double words in a row like that. Yeah, English is kind of boring in that regard. Mm-hmm. Um... It's just like, yeah, there's not much going on. And I realize that this is actually part of this, so I'm getting rid of that. Uh-oh. That's fine. What's going on? Is everything good? Or... Yeah, everything's good. It's just that you saw that I, I want to let you know that I'm ignoring these now because I realize that they're actually part of this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's no reason to uh, draw them like that. Gotcha. As long as everything is correct. Everything is correct. Okay. And all my work is... <laughs> yeah, all your work is finished. No, no, it never is. <laughs> That is, what is it? God has cursed me for my hubris and work is never finished. Right. My work is never over. All our work is never over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ninja, do you watch anime? What kind of shows do you watch? Oh yeah, we say easy peasy. Just not, just not much, I guess. I've seen it. I've said it before. I usually say easy breezy now because of fucking uh, yeah from the Azo can opening. Yeah, easy breezy. Easy breezy. That's a good anime too. You that should... anime is so good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Jamie. There you go. Yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, um, I guess, vernacular, we were at, on our way to um, uh, Delta HCon. We were jokingly talking about the what all the um, word pairs could be for the next... Uh, oh, the next Pokemon, Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For the next Pokemon. Oh, I still liked Lock, Stock, and then the third one, and that'll be Barrel. That yeah. was a pretty good one, in my opinion. I do like the joke that it was cease and desist because of all of the fucking yeah. suing that Pokemon that Nintendo had been doing. Yeah, Pokemon cease and desist. That'd be a really good one. Jamie, you're right. Azoken is so good. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, we don't like fan service anime either. There's a lot of anime you can watch that isn't fan service. Yeah, Azoken. Yeah, Azoken. Clearly, yeah. Uh, you can... love stuff like FMA and Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, those are called good anime. <laughs> that's what that's what we like to call those. You're, oh. you're, you're confusing good anime with uh, the crap Crunchyroll promotes, like, um, I don't know, how not to summon whatever that fucking... <laughs> All of those isekais that just wish they could be hentais... Those are the worst. Oh, or uh, that Dragon Maid anime? Yeah, the, any anime where uh, the fans' excuses, but she's a thousand-year-old whatever, or she's a demon, so human laws don't matter. Uh, you know, she only looks 12, officer. You know, <laughs> that kind of excuse. Yeah, those don't, yeah, those are all trash. My favorite, though, is uh, our joke about having the, dra the, the dragon Chris, Chris Hansen. Hansen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She told me she was a thousand. Yeah, only a thousand, you sick fuck. Take a seat. Take a seat. What was this? You know what they do to people like you in dragon jail? <laughs> what? It ain't pretty. <laughs> it ain't pretty. <laughs> dragon Chris Hansen. Yeah, no, there's there's actually a lot of good anime. Shockingly. Shockingly. Yeah. Shockingly. Uh, Little Witch Academia. Yeah, I was with Highly it. recommend Little Witch Academia. Yeah, that one's I don't good. think I could give... Uh, that. That is a very high recommendation. That, that one is amazing. Jamie says, Dragon Maid was kind of okay. I saw a few episodes when it was coming out. Don't remember much, TBA. Thunderbolt Fantasy waited till season three to bust out some puppets that fuck. That's really funny. <laughs> till season three to bust out some puppets that fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really and funny. It was story. kind of unclear since they're puppets. That's I'm imagining that sex scene from Team America. Oh god, yeah, yeah, that definitely would be it, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I recommend uh, starting with movies, anime, anime movies. That used to be where all the best anime was. Yeah, a anything. Lot of it. Anything Satoshi Kon is really good. Yeah, all of Satoshi Kon. Now really it's good. weird to talk about that though, too, because he said uh, they said they didn't like like fan servicey stuff. That's not fan service. I know, but there's just like scenes that are in te- are intentionally erotic because of the fact that it is a more of a intended for an adult audience. Yeah, sort of that's thing. just that's different than fan service. Though. I know, I know. I just don't like I, some people have like a different line. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like uh-huh. some people like say they oh, don't. You read a bunch more manga. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Twentieth Century Boys and Planets. Yeah, those are really good. Oh, Planets is so yeah, good. Both of those are really good. Did you ever yeah, get a chance yeah. to read Vinland Saga then? Because Vinland oh. Saga is by the same person who made Planets. Yeah, Vinland Saga is sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I like how this dude went from outer space to Vikings. Yeah, and they're both basically uh, what is it? They're both pacifistic, like kind of like you know anti like mm-hmm. war, anti you know this establishment sort of thing. It's just that uh, it's it's really good. I I really like both of those series a lot. Oh, you're currently reading that. Okay, nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one's really good. I actually really like um, where that. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I really like where uh, that story goes. Like how, how the directions it takes in order to give you the the characterization for Thorfinn. Mm-hmm. He's a very good character. Jamie says her most. Uh, current manga or most recent manga read was the Utena epilogue. I actually haven't read that. That sounds cool. There is like a cool manga box set for Utena that I'd like to get. Yeah, there's a lot of cool, cool stuff from Utena. Yeah, there's um, I'm trying to think of the other ones that are really good. Um, if you like older ones where the fan service is a bit more tasteful, you could watch like Bubblegum Crisis. No, the joke uh, for Evangelion, where yeah. it was always more fan service. I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 She would always say that. Yeah. And of course, more fan service. Mm-hmm. There's something like that, she would say. This is a bit more standard fighting manga, whereas like Planets better, but they're enjoying it. Though. Yeah, Planets, um, I feel like has uh, got to the payoff a lot quicker uh, than Vinland Saga did, but the payoff in Vinland Saga is definitely good uh, for what you have to wait for. Like, like um, it takes a while for it to get to the you know what what does any of this mean message? You know what I mean? Like, because uh, Planets was very much like um, a very pro. Like, you know, environmentalism, uh, mm-hmm. very much about, like, just, you know, what, what our relationship with the world around us. And uh, Vinland Saga does that, too, uh, but it takes a little longer because you need to have Thorfinn go through the entire process yeah. of being a hardened killer, uh, going, like, lose, uh, like getting, going, trying, you know, living just for violence and for revenge, and then learning what, um, you know, why that's just not a good way to go about life uh, the hard way. So, also, that series is randomly much longer than Planets was. So, yeah, yeah. naturally, it's going to take a while for it to get um, get mm-hmm. to where it wants to be. Oh, is that they're looking forward to the more introspective stuff? Yeah, it takes a bit, though. I uh, I, I will admit that though that was one of my big gripes of it too, where it was like because um, it was just like. I didn't know how long it was going to take and there was just so many random parts where it's like just mostly just yeah a lot of uh you know vikings being vikings mm-hmm. and it's what i did like about it though is that it was never glorified like um yeah it was one of those things where it's like nobody was like a good person like you can't really like go mm-hmm. up and say um our uh, um, i'm forgetting his fake name i'm just remembering that is artorius yeah um you can't go up and say that he was a good individual he was no he's a piece of shit mm-hmm and everything that bad happened to him, he deserved it. Let's see. Oh, Jamie says if Mon Wa counts, then she's or Mon Wa with an H. That, that's not that's the that's Mon Hua, yeah. Mon Hua, there we go. I'm just saying Mon Wa, but yeah, okay. Then it's obviously uh, Heaven, the TGCF one. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go, next time we go to Kino, since you have the card, I should get my own Kino card maybe, but mm-hmm. I don't buy enough manga, so it don't really matter. But I need to pick up some more volumes of uh, Witch Hat. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, 
<sighs> if you want to, well, Kino doesn't open till eleven. Uh, it's so triggering. No, that's fine. Like, I mean, I don't mean like tomorrow. Or well, no, it's just because I because I need to go get the these. I need to get specifically this guy. Oh, okay. this Kuratake eyeliner because it makes uh -huh. really good thin lines. But um, like as you can see, it's probably like gonna be like out of ink soon because because it's so tiny. Yeah. But it makes some really good lines. Yeah. Either way. Um, this is like basically the pen I'm looking for. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've got like a lot of things I'm trying to get done tomorrow too. Mm -hmm. Like part of me is like, oh, I'm going to get up early and I'm going to go run. And then I'm like thinking about, oh, maybe I should go get some other stuff done too. And, I, mean, I always like do this where I have this bad habit of like, so like I'm gonna do five things at once. Oh, that's that's exactly who we were talking about, Satoshi Khan. You said, have you ever seen Perfect Blue? That was the closest to weird, creepy Japanese stuff that I love. But I guess the whole point of the movie was that idol stuff is super creepy. Yeah, that that director, Satoshi Khan, watch all of his movies. He only has what four movies. I think, yeah, he only has right? four movies, and he has one he's TV not show. Very young. Yeah, he, he does had a TV show that he worked on. Okay, that was actually what's funny is as I was talking about how like, I didn't know like where your line was on. Um, it, that was the movie we were thinking of. Yeah, because we're I was like, this is a really good movie, but they said they didn't like fan service, and it's like not fan service. It's not fan service, but it's like, just like it's yeah. just like one of those things that I always like. Um, I try if there if someone says I don't like fan service because of how uh, then then they'll say like their reasoning behind it, and if the reasoning is like I don't like. Um, just watching things get like sexy. Yeah. So. Um, I usually the kind of fan service I hate is that it's just like here's boobs on screen, boobly boobling. All the female characters only exist to booble. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a couple older ones that I still like that are a bit like that, but they're nowhere near as bad as the shit they make now. Like Slayer. Like Tenchi like Muyo oh, is Tenchi nowhere is like, near yeah. as bad as like a fucking anime that comes out now. Yeah, for real. Like, at least those characters still are pretty fun. Like, Ryoko is a fucking badass space pirate. Like, that's fucking cool. She has, like, a fucking lightsaber and shit. Yeah, and then they have some jerk shit. Yeah, exactly. Jamie, yeah, she breasted boobly down the stairs. Exactly. She breasted boobly. Yeah, she, yeah, I love that line. Yeah. It's like a parody line. Oh, yeah, For yeah. the, uh... Men writing women or whatever. Yeah, it's legit. Like, uh, if you read any George R. R. Martin uh, mm -hmm. fucking book, there's always a scene where a girl is boobily boobling because, like, mm -hmm. they, like for some reason they always he he has this weird thing where he has to talk about the person's chest as it's going around, you know? Right. A ninja. Yeah, exactly. He says if that movie is fan service, then you're a pretty fucked up fan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I never know because, like, okay. So when I was at uh, when I was in college, we had we had, we were gonna do a joke hentai night. And I knew for a fact I was going to not like that. Yeah. Because I know the people that went to my... Like, I know the people who like anime. Yeah. And I don't fucking trust anybody who likes anime and mm -hmm. then, like, say, like, this, that, and the other. Because I'm like, all right, there's going to be that one fucking weirdo who's going to be like... That has uh, the trench coat. Yeah. And they're going to, like, talk about, like, you know, how the, the rape scene in Perfect Blue is mm -hmm. really hot. And I'm going to be like, Whoa. oh, no, I don't want to talk to you ever again. Right. And you're just like... That you're the the other type of people that I'm like, I don't want to ever recommend any anime to anybody because they're gonna think I'm weird. But yeah, Jamie, it's only four movies. It should be Perfect Blue, Malayan Actress, um, Paprika, Paprika, and then Tokyo Godfathers. Yeah, that's all four of them. That's not chronological order, but that's all of them. This is one of those things where I just always get a little. Uh, what is it? Um, yeah, no, for real. Oh, Jamie says at least George R. R. Martin. Uh, at least with George R. R. Martin, he at least lets the pen let the men penis phallically as well. So there's equal opportunity. Weird. Yeah. Again, it's just still like I don't know. I remember specifically reading a scene from Game of Thrones that made me go like, I don't think this book series is for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was just legit like a scene of a ch uh, one of the the characters just like at night walking and the entire scene is describing what her tits are doing it's like a page and a half uh but to be fair though also the books are like you know tiny mm -hmm. so it's like a page and a half though still of uh her walking around and uh, describing how the the wind is like brushing against them and i'm like gotcha all right i'm good i don't need this want tokyo this. godfathers is really good it's the one nobody's ever seen though like, I'm not shocked that you haven't seen it. No one ever talks about it. It has, like, it's weird. the most human story, though. It has no, like, 
It's not no anything. Villain. Yeah, it has no villain or anything. It's not like any of his. It's not like the other three movies. It's also not at all like. It's not as cerebral as yeah, all of his other not. works. It's a much more just human story. Yeah, but it's, it's really good. Like, it's, wow, is it good? It's also the perfect movie to watch at Christmas. Yep, it is a Christmas movie. Yeah, he wrote, he did a Christmas movie about uh, three homeless people in Tokyo. Yeah. Who, uh, it's really good. Who find a, a baby that had been abandoned yeah. and try to find its mother. Yep, that's the uh, one-sentence block synopsis. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Yeah, because yeah, could... the last one we need to see in theaters it's is Paprika. Paprika. Yeah. Because before Corona, they were playing them in theaters every so often by us. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Jamie says, I had a guy in college while talking about anime ask me what was the most fucked up thing in anime I've ever seen, and I just knew that wasn't opening to talk about hentai. Oh, God. Yeah, so that's, like, one of the reasons why I always get, like, whenever something, like, in in general is a sex scene in something, I'm like, no, I don't want to, like, like leave an opening for anyone to be like oh that's hot you know and you're like no yeah, right. stop that wasn't the purpose of it no mm. <laughs> you're not supposed to think it's hot you fucking bastard but my problematic fave <laughs> what was it my uh my what, my hitler ooh <laughs> my ooh soft boy hitler though my ooh soft boy hitler <laughs> That was my joke. I was like, these fans online be like, my ooh, soft boy Hitler. (laughs) Who did nothing wrong. Justify any, whoever they pick, they can justify their crimes, it always seems. In the name of ooh. In the name of ooh. Oh, God. In the name of ooh, I deem you innocent. Yeah, exactly. Just like, Jesus, let's not... I don't want this. Yeah. But yeah, that's like I'm, that's one of the things I am really glad about. Whenever we're at a con, that like, not we don't really attract those weird types of people that are like, you know. Yeah. Luckily, they stay away from us. What are the top uh, animes right now on my anime list? I'm gonna go look. Yeah, because my anime list is always kind of like, meh. Yeah, I'm wondering. That's the easiest site I can think of that has like a top thing right now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the top whatever. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure FMA is still there. It's like always there. It never goes away. Um, Which at least that's good. It's just Yeah, like, no, that's good. I'm just saying. It's just like one of those things where... Like, Damn, I didn't realize that um, Legend of the Galactic Heroes was still rated this high. Really? Like the original one. I highly recommend that. That series is amazing. Watch the old one. I didn't like the new one. I don't like the new one. Honestly, Jamie says, Other notable interaction was one Valentine's Day. I was going back to my dorm, and he got in the same elevator and asked if I was sad. I didn't know what the fuck he was on about. He pointed out a sign in the elevator promoting Singles Awareness Day as an alternative to Valentine's Day. That's actually funny. Sad for Singles Awareness Day. I actually kind of like that. But... Uh, and he said, no, I'm fine, and fled the elevator. Is that the one with Captain Harlock? No, Captain Harlock is from... Space Battleship Yamato? No, he's in the same, like, universe, but no, no Captain Harlock is just from, uh, Space Captain Harlock. Okay. But he has a lot of other stuff. Yeah, I couldn't remember if he was mostly in that He's one. He's in the... That's all, like, the same universe, the Leiji Matsumoto, like, verse. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't know if he... Uh... I'm pretty sure... I think Yamato is in that universe. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. I know that, like... Emeraldes and all of them are in that yeah, Emeraldes. universe. Yeah, definitely is that. But I can't remember. I think Battleship Kamado is actually a different universe. I don't know. But no, it does sound very similar. So I, I feel you on that one. Yeah, no, Captain Harlock is the shit. I fucking love that guy. He's like one of the coolest fuck. He's one of the coolest anime characters of all time. Oh yeah. Yeah, Emeraldes is like my favorite from that. Let me find a picture of her. Queen Emerald is. I love the way they say her name in Japanese. She's the baddest bitch in space. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, you didn't. Uh, yeah, no, he's an actual clown. One Piece is also fucking good. Yeah. Read it. Read One Piece. I don't recommend people watch it most of the time just because it's way too fucking long to watch. And once you get like somewhere, I forgot what episodes, but someone made a chart. Like, there's an actual graph of like the amount of chapters per episode. And it just tanks to less than one chapter per episode at one point because they're so caught uh, caught up. Yeah. So it's miserable to watch. There are some episodes that are like seven, eight minute recaps, and then the episode is practically a slideshow because the, like, nothing happens in it. Like they show like everyone's reaction face, and they hold on it too long just to eat up air time. Mm-hmm. So gotta save money somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, we can send, uh, let me send you our Discord link real quick. We don't check it much, but we usually check it if someone's like, hey, I just did this thing. Yeah, usually if someone, like, actually like, pings us. Yeah, like, if we're talking about it now, especially, because I don't really use Discord much. I'm not an important person who does things with people. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I can, I'm trying to get this out of the way. There we go. There you go. That should take you there. And then you can just post it and like, um, oh, there's an advice one it has for some reason. All right. Yeah. Just use that, I guess. Oh, no. There's an art one, too, that works. It <laughs> just... This is how little I'm ever on this thing. I noticed. It's just like... I talk to like seven people. The only people I talk to are normally people in real life or on this like stream or when we're in person at cons. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of an online chat person. No, I got you. It's just funny when you... Remember. So... The art one, yes. Use the art one. There we go. I agree with Jamie. Jamie knows. Oh, the June Bucks one in. You know, for a second, like, this YouTube notification popped up, and instead of anti-vaccine, I thought it said anti-volcano for a second. I mean, and so it was like, Trump goes anti-volcano. I was like, what? Like... I want to see that that thing. For just volcanoes don't even exist. I need to know this conspiracy theory for volcanoes now. Oh, Jesus. But no, gross. it was vaccine. It was vaccine. <laughs> oh, advice is for dank memory. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. <laughs> they are loud June bugs. They're hitting the window at about 100 miles an hour. It is not even June anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Here it is. Hmm, okay, interesting. This is kind of like their style here. You can't actually see very well, so... You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forgive me for the moment. Um, I'm also technically uh, not allowed to look at chat, so... Well, it's not... I'll put it in the way of chat. There you go. See? This is their style. Oh, okay. So it's like... Um, that's what I'm looking for. It's much more uh, grounded in reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was shot inside like a bar also. Oh, that's pretty good. I can definitely tell. I, like I like the one with the two, with the girl. I can definitely tell that reference was used. That's yeah. something that's like one of those things that we were joking about. Or, ooh, that's actually cool. I like this. Yeah, this is kind of weird. This one with all these faces. Is this like some sort of dark like, fantasy thing you're yeah, working on? Yeah, some horror thing. Yeah. I don't think I would definitely recommend. Yeah, again, I, was, I, I can tell that you referenced the backgrounds, but like the um, characters themselves could probably use a bit more reference it's only i would think that would... yeah these are cool i like this yeah, concept I like to look wait go back to that first that not that first one but that one with like the this one no, no the other one. Oh, the other one the... okay this one yeah i like this one actually i like what the, what's going on here in this picture mm -hmm. but um yeah the only thing i would think is like yeah getting the reference for that foreshortening but yeah, this is cool. I actually like these like weird creepy hands that are crampy, like hand face They're things. like face tentacles. Yeah, they're like coming at them. It's awesome. I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. Anime is... Oh, where did they go? Makes me think of like uh, some Junji Ito stuff. A little bit, yeah, I could see that. Um, maybe a mix of like Stephen King, but that's only just because I'm like, oh, because of um, the skyline being kind of like, you know, um, a little gray, but that's probably because I... said it's like an Irish fish fishing village horror. Okay. Because, okay. yeah. So that's kind of giving me like a, uh, I guess, a, um, 
Oh, see, that is Stephen King, kind of, just not Irish. Yeah. Because he's New England, you know? Yeah, That's like H.P. Lovecraft is New England also. Yeah, something like that, definitely. So, is. yeah. Like, it definitely gave me an idea of, like, that be, like, in, uh, some kind of cool horror thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's he's saying the proportions need better uh, pose reference, maybe. Yeah, there's a really cool website you can go to called uh, Line of Action. Um Line of Action is like a place where you can go do really good figures. Uh, they have like basically all these different like figures posing and things like that. You can like screenshot them on your phone. Uh, See, so or you can actually like use them for an actual class. This place. I think Jamie's the one who turned me on to this place. Mm-hmm. Is that right? That sounds right. Probably. It might not be right, but it feels right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that place is really good if you're just wanting to like really like buckle down and get like um get the anatomy uh figured out yeah oh um you know what what would be a good one to look at if you're interested in like uh this kind of like junji ito style horror um or like you know um Things of that nature. It's kind of horror in general. Yeah, horror in general. A uh, chainsaw man actually would be, or oh, fi- yeah. or fire punch would probably be something you would be interested in manga wise. I don't know fire punch. Uh, fire punch is his first series. Oh okay. okay. Um, fire punch also is cool because fire punch is mainly about like the the, the creator really loves movies, um, and so basically that that whole manga series is about how much he loves fucking movies. <laughs> it gets really funny. It's like, guys, I love movies, and I want you all to know how much I love mm-hmm. movies. It's kind of like a Rocky whenever he's like, I'm a free boo. <laughs> yeah, right. I realize that a lot of this list is just people who uh, highly rate some other animes. I wonder how these are corrugated. Because, like, Gintama has a lot of spots in this top, like, 30. And I'm like, <laughs> I never hear anyone in the West talk about Gintama. <laughs> I was like, how is this... But Monster is really good. I saw Monster on. There. Oh yeah, Monster's really that good. That one's really good. That's from the same guy as Twentieth Century Boys. Yes. And that is um oh I keep forgetting how to say his name. Yeah, I forgot his name too, but yeah, same guy. Um, oh you're a massive Junji Ito fan? Okay, that makes sense. That that definitely comes through in yeah. the, like the face the, the screaming face and stuff. Yeah, it also comes through in just the kind of um like I'm looking at it though, and it was funny if you hadn't if uh, if you hadn't told me you were from Ireland, I was like, oh, they really like Irish um, Irish scenery because I was like recognizing some of like the outfits and things like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, like if you look at that um, that the bar, I was like, oh, it looks kind of like a traditional Irish pub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, and then there they are. It's like, oh yeah, I'm Irish. And I'm like, oh. Okay, Jamie says his name is Naoki Urasawa. Yeah, Uras- yeah I knew it was an Ura, but I can yeah. never remember how to... Uh, that guy has such range, too, because I actually really like Yawara. Oh, which yeah. Which is this one about, like, this girl who does judo, which is complete... It's not like any of those other ones. Yeah. It's just an actual, like, sports one. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because that was the one I, like, originally knew him for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are a, the fashionable judo girl. Mm-hmm. Master Keaton. There yeah. used to be a really good. Uh, oh yeah, that's him too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mysteries. Yeah, there used to be a really good um, AMV to like the Olympics uh, song oh, that was funny. for Yuara. That was really cool. Your entire shelf is that guy? That's good, though. Yeah, Jinji is cool so, as fuck. Oh, no, no, he means uh, Urasawa. Oh, Urasawa, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Urasawa. Yeah, Jinji. definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, Urasawa's great. I love his work. Uh, yes, actually, Pluto! I forgot that was another one that I read from him. That one was really good. Yeah, that one was a really interesting take on That was yeah, such a road. cool, yeah, thing. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. Yeah, that uh, his stuff's so cool. I actually really like the fact that he's able to do... Um, really I needed co- to finish the one with the Louvre and that weird tooth guy. <laughs> that one was a very bizarre one. That uh, was a weird one. I was about halfway into it. I liked it, though. Um, no, I really like the fact that most of his stories are just talking heads, but the heads are so expressive yeah. that you just don't really mind. Yeah, um, for sure. That the panels are a little bit, um, what's the word? It's like, you know, like manga is always known for having these crazy panel borders and like yeah. how they compose their pages and things like that tend to be very different mm-hmm. from the Western style of doing things. Uh, whereas his kind of tend to follow in, into a more Western style where it's a bit more 
um, you know, put together, things mm -hmm. like that, um, for lack of a better word. Um, Oh, every artist can, a lot of artists can have that problem where they have like similar looking characters, especially if you mean, do you mean like across each series or within the series? Or is, the real issue is if it's within the same series. Uh, That's I'm, when it I'm, becomes really sorry, bad in my opinion. What's the question? Oh, about like the same faces thing. Oh. Like the artist does same faces what? that are too similar. Are we talking about, what are we talking about? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, the same guy we're talking about. Right? Oh, him? Yeah. His, uh, I don't know, he has a pretty wide range of faces compared to most mangaka if we're talking yeah. like, like uh, Akira Toriyama and Dragon yeah, Ball. Exactly. Yeah, That's why I'm wondering if he meant like within the series or across series. Because Rumiko Takahashi has like kind of a lot of faces, but kind of not, you yeah. know? So... But within each series, like individually, nobody really looks that similar. She she can do like a wide range of things before anyone starts to look too similar, mm -hmm. unless she wants them to as a joke or something. Yeah, <laughs> usually it is a joke. Even within the same series, okay. So with Monster and like Master Keaton, because there are so many. Okay. Yeah, Matt, yeah, that makes sense. Mo I can feel you on that one. Monsters makes a lot of sense, uh, specifically because I was remembering how many characters are in that one. Yeah. So but no, it's it's still not as bad as like the fairy tale guy or someone like that. God. Know? God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was I was just trying to read his work and all of a sudden now it's just porn. Yeah, it's like I used to be able to read fairy tale in the living room at my parents' house, and now it's just a porno. And like, come on. Now that's so the kind of fan service I don't like. That's what we were complaining about. It's like, bro, you just make a like, hentai. Like, yeah, just make a hentai, dude. Like, come on. You know you want to. This show used to be about magic, and now it's just all about tits and ass. <laughs> like, this come on. I used to care who was behind those tits. Exactly. Now I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, now I'm just like, oh, God, boobs, boobs, boobs. One thing of magic, boobs. I'm done with this series. Yeah. Boobs are boobling, boobily. Pretty much. But, oh, God. And it sucks because I do really like the beginning of Fairy Tale. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I think the beginning is really good. Yeah, there's a lot of cool ideas there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like. I like that world. I think it's fun. Yeah, world. yeah, it was cool. Like the idea of like there's a lot of different magic guilds and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cool. Fan about to come apart. Just started rattling. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh, well, we might die on stream, so. You know, there's that. At least you know how we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> it says I made a compilation once of uh, Urasawa gaunt mustache gentleman. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. <laughs> That's true. I'll give you that. One. That's so fucking I'll funny. Fucking give you that he one. does love drawing people with mustaches. I'll and, give you that one. And being very portly. <laughs> yes. Urasawa also is like, it, uh, for um, lack of a better like. Uh, way to compare it. He's kind of like if Iraqi was more into Europe than he was into America. Yes, definitely. Or, I feel you on that one. Or specifically Italy, whereas Rasal yeah. is more into like Germany and Britain and uh, you know the, the whole entire yeah. um, that entire like mm -hmm. uh, side of Europe. Whereas Iraqi's like, I really like America. Yeah, like America and Italy. American Italy. That's about it. That's, That's all I need that's outside all of I Japan. Need. <laughs> that's all I need. That's why I really hope there's a part nine. I want to see what he does. Yeah, I want to know where he would Especially go. Especially if he, it, it, like I said, it would be really interesting if he does plan to like pick this up and make it more connected. Yeah. To part eight, because like part, because uh, these two parts, part seven and part eight, ended up being you know pretty well connected. I think. Well, yeah, you know, but it was like a bit more of like a what is it like um you know it was, um drawn out. Yeah. It's a little bit of yeah. It took a little bit to get there, and it was some of the stuff is like not quite fully explained. So. Yeah, and so it doesn't need to be. But. Yeah, I don't think it fully needs to be. Yeah, I like some of it being unclear. All right, well that's it. There's buggy. There. He... Oh, that's funny. They said that yeah, apparently, and uh, yeah, in Master Keaton, there's chapters about the IRA, which was absolutely hilarious for someone from Northern Ireland. That is funny. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, I never thought you'd see Belfast in a manga. That's pretty... Yeah, right? It's really interesting to see what, like, some people, you know, find. Because if you watch, um... 
Gunsmith Cats, the creator of Gunsmith Cats and Riding Bean, he loves Chicago. So those are set in Chicago. And, like, I don't know almost any other anime that's set in Chicago. Yeah, and it's also just funny, too, because we always joke that Japan kind of, like, didn't know what the world map looked like. Yeah, they didn't know the map. It wasn't fully uncovered. Yeah, it was like Legend of Zelda. There's a couple of points there, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of really funny things. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get both of them on screen real quick. Jamie says this looks great. Yeah. I mean, it is Jamie, so of course. That's true, of course. I think we can't get both of these on screen right there. There we go. Yeah. Not too bad. There we go. Yeah, these look really good. I think the the owners of these will be very satisfied. These were commission pieces. Yes. And we got to mail them off on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Or Thursday. Yeah, I'll probably just bring them with the rest of the mail. Yeah. So. No sense making two trips. Because I already went grocery shopping. If I hadn't gone grocery shopping, I would have done with that. But <laughs> but I, I went grocery shopping earlier today because I had, like, no food. So. Yeah. I, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, here there be monsters to the east of Japan. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. That's what we always joke about is that the map, yeah, just has that fog on it and you just see like California, Texas, and New York and that's it. That's all you see. That was all they knew back then. You that's know? all you need to know. That's it. Other than that, what's the rest of America? You know, No one really needs to care about it. What is America if not California, Texas, and New York? It's true. Everything else, that's just extra. Superfluous, you know, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, it makes me think of also... That's, Unneeded, you yeah. know. Uh, makes me think of the, like that thing where there was um uh someone that we were talking about like what is that like you know we people but in different cunt states mm-hmm. hey how's it going yeah what up dude i heard y'all talking about states we were talking about you know the old map of america from japan where it's just california texas and new york nice that's it well we all know that uh florida is just a cryptid <laughs> <laughs> that is true i mean true. florida man yes you know we're hoping to see him at the next con. I hope he shows up. <laughs> Some say he'll appear, you know. But no, we're almost done here. We're, we're going to watch shows in a bit. So. Nice. But. Hello. Hi, then. All right. <laughs> Sabrina, everyone. Sabrina. 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 Simply Sabrina. Simply Sabrina. Simply Sabrina. All right. Well, we're going to cut it here. Like I said, we got some shows to watch. Um, specifically Villainous. Because that show is fucking hilarious. And, um, Zenkaiger. Yeah, and then we're going to be watching Zenkaiger, so. Uh, Ninja, it was great talking to you. We're going to be streaming again on Wednesday. The thing after this will say Thursday, but it's a liar. Um, we're in the middle of a bunch of cons, so. Somewhere in that their swamp is rumored to be Florida. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what it's like. <laughs> Somewhere Honestly. in that swamp there is a rumor to be a Florida. Honestly. But yeah, we'll be streaming again about the same time on Wednesday. We have a bunch of conventions right now, so our schedule's a little mixed up. Because mm-hmm. um, we have to leave on like Thursdays every night yeah. for the next few weeks. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. I think this turned out pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll be back on uh, Wednesday if you're here. So, all right, everyone, watch a funky space wizard battle, and we'll catch you later. Oh, yeah.